Hey everyone, it's me Estella and I'm back with another video. Today I'll be going over my top 10 study favorites or, in other words, things that have really helped me study and do well in school. Also, this video is sponsored by PDF Element Pro, so stay tuned for an overview of the new PDF Element Pro version. That's all I have for the intro, so let's get into it. I used Muji paper and a binder during my senior year for one of my online classes and I really enjoyed the quality of the paper and the binder. They're also from recycled paper so they're environmentally friendly and the paper is less likely to rip because it has 26 holes. Another study favorite of mine is a PDF editor and a great one is PDF Element Pro. PDF Element Pro is a PDF editor that allows you to edit text and pictures on a PDF document and also add special effects like highlighting, drawing, text boxes, reminders, etc. It supports both Windows and Mac and is super user friendly and easy to use. PDF Element Pro is offering you guys a discount to buy it. The link will be down in my description box. You can also try it for free or apply for an educational discount. Those links will also be in my description box. My next study favorite is fine liners, particularly these shown here. I prefer fine liners right now over pens because it feels smoother to write and puts less strain on my hand. Here's a swatch of the two brands I'm currently using. So calculators were super important in high school, particularly for the SAT in classes like calculus. I recommend investing in the TI Inspire CX CAS for the SAT or the TI Inspire CX if you're taking the ACT of these two calculators. It also takes a while to get used to them, but once you do, you'll have a great advantage on the SAT or ACT because of how many functions the calculator has. Lots of people I know used it as well, and it's pretty much the best calculator for standardized tests or advanced math. Even though they're pretty expensive, they can be a huge help with studying and can last you all the way through your college years. The links will be down in my description box if you want to check them out. So for college, a laptop is pretty much a must. I have the MacBook Air, which I've had since my junior year, and I still use it today. Again, it's a really expensive investment, but I think the MacBook is just a really great computer for school. I especially love Pages and Keynote. My next study favorite is the Seconds app. I use it for long study sessions because it has an alarm that goes off every 25 minutes that have passed, which is the length of a Pomodoro session. You can customize the timer to be for as long as you want and for the breaks to be longer or shorter, and you can also change the amounts of sessions you want to do.
My next study favorite is a calendar. I always use calendar to write down deadlines and when certain presentations or tests are, and I also write down any meetings I have. I highly recommend using a calendar, whether it's a physical one or a Google calendar or the one on your phone. If you have the majority of your work saved on your computer like I do, then I recommend having an external hard drive. This will prevent you from losing all of your work and notes in case your computer breaks down or gets lost. The ones I've used will be in my description box if you want to check them out. Last but not least is this BPSKY multifunctional A4 document portfolio. I used this a lot towards the end of the school year when I had fewer notes to take and assignments to turn in, and it saved a lot of space and was great at protecting my work and stationery. I highly recommend using this if you don't carry around that much and want just one efficient case that holds everything. And that's it! I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Be sure to check out PDF Element, the links will be in my description box. Bye everyone!